here at the Delaware County Emergency Services Training Center in Pennsylvania, where we're repurposing one of our test fixtures to do a demonstration for Fire Prevention Week on the importance of closing your door. Uh, this year's theme, Close Before You Doze, will let us highlight the importance of putting that important barrier between you and the potential fire before you go to sleep at night. We're gonna have an experiment where we're gonna light the fire in the living room, cutting off your main source of egress, we're going to see how long it takes those smoke alarms to go off to give you that early warning and look at what important role that the closed door plays in providing you time to be woken, understand what's happening around you, decide whether or not you can get out safely or not, and ultimately if you can't, the important protection that it provides you to buy you time so the fire department can come and rescue you. In this three bedroom house, what's important to us is how long the occupants would have to survive. In order to determine that, we've got temperature measurements at every foot in every room in the house. We've got oxygen, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide measurements in the bedrooms as well as the hallway to understand what the potential occupants would be exposed to, along with our regular measurements of pressure, video, thermal imaging throughout the house so we can quantify the fire behavior. We're going to start the fire by lighting a sofa with the candle in the living room. That fire is going to begin to spread across the sofa, filling the house with smoke and heat. That smoke is going to begin to bank down. What we're looking at is the obvious difference in conditions between the open bedroom and the closed bedrooms and what that means for occupant survival time. We're going to allow that fire to progress and we're going to be watching the front windows to the living room. The question to us is going to be, are those front living room windows going to fail or not? That fire is going to become ventilation limited, the windows are going to go out, we're going to have fire out of the front of the house, and we're going to continue to look at how that deteriorates conditions inside the house. Once we have that fire out the windows and things are not survivable in the open bedroom, we're going to have our suppression crew go ahead and move in, put the fire out. 